There's this quote, I wrote it on my wall because I thought it was so powerful. Art allows you to share what the world won't let you share. I started out really wanting to be a painter. I suck at painting. <laughs> I really, really tried so very hard. I didn't really know what else I was going to do. I was like, well, I'm just not going to do this. It kind of happened at a particular time in my life where I was moving to London. And I had really never been anywhere. I get off of the plane, I have my bag, and I'm going to the tube station to go into London, I was completely alone. There was no one waiting for the tube. I got onto the train and there were newspapers scattered everywhere in the tube. Like you had to like walk through them and it was like shh, 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 shh. So I started picking up the newspapers and like reading them. I guess I just had this thought, like what if I start drawing on this paper? I never looked back <laughs> after that. I just like, the next day I got a bunch of materials and I just started doing it. It's primarily newspaper and magazine based. I use a lot of vintage materials. I like to play with words in my work. I like to have a person or an object that is kind of telling a story and I use the words from the newspapers or the materials that I find to tell the story and to give the object or the person a voice. It was interesting when I started doing the vintage magazines and newspapers because I kind of felt like it was just this moment in time. It was about a life or about the way the world was. I thought it was sad if it all just went away. When I was a kid, you know, I had a really weird childhood and I kind of took solace in watching old movies, typing plays about, you know, the 1600s on a 1970s typewriter. You know, I mean, I was 10 and I was already totally, <laughs> you know, retro. I talked with a transatlantic accent, which, you know, I wonder why I didn't have any friends. <laughs> and yeah, I was just, I was the weirdest kid ever. I was already kind of just into a different world, and it was a better world than the one that I was actually living in. The interesting part about using the text for the person that I'm drawing is that you can't see the whole sentence. You can just see like one word. It's much richer if you just get like these little bits and pieces and then you're kind of thinking about, well, what does that fucking mean? It's my little secret, <laughs> what it's about. <laughs> it's me communicating a feeling. You know, I just try and like allow it to be whatever it's gonna be. You just let it go and flow and and you're not kind of judgmental or, you know, thinking, well, you know, if I do this, this will be really clever. I hate clever art. <laughs> the realization of what it is, is the greatest magic. I feel like as an artist, you have to know yourself and you have to know your strengths and you have to know your weaknesses and combat those weaknesses with all of the positive things that you have. I think it's so true in, in every creative field. If you are not yourself, then your work is going to show. I feel like I was always so worried that if I was myself, nobody would like me. And I can see that in my, my work as well.
Last year for me, I was in a place where I couldn't work and I couldn't, I couldn't express myself. I was in Ireland at the time. I was there for like six months and I made like three pieces <laughs> the whole time. I wasn't putting 100% of myself into it. I was really scared that I would come back here and not be able to do what I do. And a lot of it was like me not owning my work, trying so hard to make it be something it wasn't, rather than just going, this is what you do. And you like it. And why don't you just own the fact that this is what you do and make it the best you that it possibly can be. I came back with such a clear intention that I just didn't want to be that person anymore. I immediately just tried as hard as I possibly could to fulfill myself. I started getting really successful. <laughs> and, you know, I felt like really good about the work. And I think, you know, those are my hopes and dreams is that I can just continue to push myself to be the best artist that I can be. My name is Annie Terrazzo. I am a mixed media portrait artist.